You know, whenever you buy a lot of games, inevitably you're gonna come across games that you regret getting. And recently I completed the entire North American Wii U set. And there'll be a video on that soon, but in looking back, there are definitely games that are regretful buys. I wanted to get the whole set, so I got them anyways, but there are definitely some games that I regret getting because they're just not fun, or in the case of one of the games in today's list, it doesn't even work. But before we dive into those, I wanna take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Into the AM. Into the AM sells high quality shirts for very affordable prices, and they all have super unique and fun designs, like this one that I'm wearing right here. And what's great about it is they are constantly updating their collections of artwork that is going on the shirts, so there's always something new and fresh to take a look at. And if you'd like to get something from Into the AM for yourself, then go ahead and check the link down in the description below, or whenever you're on the website, go ahead and use code GDS10 at checkout for an extra 10% off of your order. Now let's go ahead and dive into five games, or in this case, series of games, that I regret buying for the Wii U. And first up, is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. So first up here with Amiibo Festival for Animal Crossing, this game, even from the jump, I mean, it just felt like a super cheap Mario Party knockoff. Animal Crossing was just trying to do something new, which I get and I respect that, but having to dive so far into the Amiibo gimmick that you can't even play the game unless you have them is rather annoying. And I don't have Amiibos anymore. So obviously I can't get any further than this and the game isn't even that fun to begin with and it's very slow paced. So Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, mm -mm, no thanks. Now next up, it's not just one game, it's actually three games and that is the Disney Infinity series. You got 1.0, 2.0 and 3.0. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now with Disney Infinity, I liked the concept because it actually has actual gameplay you can do, but then it's enhanced with the Toys to Life stuff. Now, I've never been a huge fan of any of the Toys to Life things, but at least these ones had a actual game to go along with them, kind of like the Skylanders games did. But yeah, I mean, since I'm not really into Toys of Life, I'm definitely not the market for this, and I just didn't really care for this game. Now, this next game, honestly, the only reason I regret buying it is because it doesn't work anymore. And I won't have much to show you, but that's Guitar Hero Live. And here we are, folks, Guitar Hero Live. The one that just doesn't work anymore. It doesn't connect to anything anymore. I'm pretty sure on every platform, they got rid of all access to everything. Um, luckily, there are other ways to play Guitar Hero games nowadays, but yeah, Guitar Hero Live. I mean, I'm pretty sure this one was actually a pretty big flop because it required you to be online and you couldn't really get anything locally. It was all live stuff. That was a whole gimmick for it. And neat idea, but very poor execution. And like I said, at least for me, the game doesn't work anymore. Now, next up is the single largest franchise that is on the Wii U. And I don't mean the best franchise, I mean the largest franchise. There were 11 games on the Wii U in this franchise, and if you guessed Just Dance, you were right. We have Just Dance 2014, 2015, 2016, 2016 Gold Edition, 2017, 2017 Gold Edition, 2018, 2019, Just Dance 4, Just Dance Kids 2014, and Just Dance Disney Party 2. Um, I'll show you a little bit. I'm not gonna show you 11 games of footage, don't worry. So I get why the Just Dance games are popular. They are just absolutely not my thing. Someone of my size and dancing ability should never be doing these kinds of games. But I was going for the full set. That meant I had to get all 11 of these games. That's the other thing. I understand if you're coming out with an annual release, but they sometimes had more than one release in a calendar year. And for me, that's just too much. Why do you have so many dancing games? I mean, I know there's a huge fan base, otherwise they wouldn't keep making them, but this is so not my thing. Now, before we get to the fifth and final game of today's video, if you've liked the video so far, then go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Now, the final game, and I will explain, is Mario Kart 8. Now, you might be thinking, why would I say Mario Kart 8? It's not that I regret the game. The game is fantastic. It's 
that I regret having it on Wii U because the Switch has the deluxe version, which has every ounce of DLC that this ever had, plus a ton more. So my only regret is the Switch version is a lot better, but let's go ahead and take a look. Now, this might be the controversial one with Mario Kart 8, but hear me out. It's still a super fun game. It's still very playable on the Wii U, but it's more fun to me on the Switch because it has more stuff to it. And that's basically it. That's my only reasoning why this one is regrettable to me is because on Switch, you get the same plus a lot more. I mean, don't get me wrong, before Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out, I would have said, uh, like, hell no, that this is not a game I regret getting because this game is awesome. But with the Switch one now, I mean, the Switch one is just vastly superior. And yeah, I mean, Mario Kart 8, I regret owning it on more than one system because one of them on another system is just plain better. And there you have it, everyone. Those are five games or like sets of games that I regret getting when I was completing the Wii U set because I just don't care about them. And these ones likely will collect dust until I'm bored of having a complete Wii U set and I just sell them off someday. But for now, those were five that I regret. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any games that you regret buying for any console. And if you want to see another recent video, then go ahead and check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.